With still no Nintendo Direct being announced, Nintendo gave us an indie highlights last week. Three of the games really stood out for me, and one of them I think might even be one of my favorites of this year. I wanted to highlight these games and just give you my thoughts about them. So my number three game would be Wargroove. So this game is actually coming February 1st, so it might actually already be out by the time you're watching this. And it's really nice to see this actually get a release date because it was announced back in February of 2017. And I think it was originally supposed to come uh, like a year ago, so like early 2018. So I'm really glad we got a release date for this. It's a turn-based strategy game with a full story campaign, and it also has online and local multiplayer. You can even design and share your own map, so that's pretty cool. Um, in the game, you capture towns, gain funds, expand your army, and cry havoc and let slip the dogs of war. Alright, so this game is looks pretty fun. I'm not really a big fan of tactical RPG type games like this, but it looks to be different and um, has enough action in it to keep me interested. So I think I'm going to give this game a try. Um, also, the fact that Chucklefish is publishing this means a lot to me because um, I recently picked up Stardew Valley. And I know they're not the ones who developed the game, but um, Stardew Valley, I'm really loving that game. So if it's at all similar to that kind of game, um, just in quality, I think I'll really enjoy uh, Wargroove. So I think I'm going to give it a try. My number two game would be Inmost, which is also another Chucklefish uh, published game. It's actually going to be a timed exclusive for the Nintendo Switch. So we don't have a date for it yet, but it will be first released on Nintendo Switch, and who knows how long that uh, time exclusive will be, but that's pretty exciting. Um, and it looks very dark, it's got an ominous art style, but it's got beautiful visual effects as you can see here. It's very atmospheric, and it looks like you're going to be fighting monsters and demons, and it's sort of a puzzle platformer with three playable characters, but one interwoven story. It says that the narrative is actually set across two different worlds and it weaves together a tale of suffering, sacrifice, and a family stuck in the middle of it all. It looks like a lot of the story could be taking place in some large castle. So, you know, either way, this game looks really cool. Like, the pixel art is just beautiful to me and I really like that it has like this dark tone to it. Like, we don't see a lot of colors, it's just sort of a lot of blues and greens and grays, just a lot of dark. Uh, cool colors which really will add to that sort of dark and ominous tone to the game so again it's another game I'm really excited for and last the game I'm most excited for so far is going to have to be cross code so we don't have a release date on this yet other than 2019 but man this game really like got me interested when I saw the trailer I just immediately wanted to know more about this game and when it was coming it's a 2D action RPG game. It's got beautiful 16-bit, you know, SNES-like uh, graphics, and even the music has got that SNES chiptune goodness. Sounds sort of like Sonic music, um, and it's got like the sci-fi sort of uh, theme to it, which is pretty cool. And the combat is like super fast-paced. It actually also says that the Switch is going to have exclusive content and they're also saying the game is similar to Secret of Mana if you've ever played that before. This game actually came out on Steam back in September of 2018 and I looked at the reviews on there and people are just raving about this game. Some even were calling it their game of the year for 2018 which is huge for like an indie game. We know last year uh, in 2018 Celeste um, got nominated for game of the year even though that's an indie game so for me this game is like right up there with that at least from my first impressions of it and I was so interested in it that I actually went ahead and downloaded the demo on Steam so I'll leave a link to that in the description below um, and I played the demo actually twice just because I had so much fun with it um, and it's about 30 minutes in length so you know you can get a good feel of if you're gonna like the game or not and after playing it I'm just even more excited for this game I know it's kind of crazy for me to be saying like this could be sort of like a contender like game of the year just like Celeste was especially when this game is already released on PC so it's not technically a new game but for me anyway you know that's my opinion you know I just think from what I've seen and what I've played it is a really cool game and I'm super excited for it to be coming to switch so Again, those are my top three games so far that I'm excited for indie-wise this year for Nintendo Switch. 
Hopefully we get a full Nintendo Direct soon and hear about some of those bigger games coming. But in the meantime, this is what we have, so let me know what your guys' uh, most hyped games are so far of 2019.